Hey everybody, this is Craig from OrgSpring, and in this video, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to be doing a WordPress plugin review and also a tutorial all in the same spot. And uh, it's on a really cool new plugin called Showbiz Pro, and it's from Theme Punch. This is the same company that brought you the Slider Revolution plugin. In my opinion, the best slider out there. I've wrote an article about it on WPMU.org, uh, and have written about it even on my own blog. And also, um, they came out with this new plugin called Showbiz Pro, which, as you see in the beginning title screen of this video, I call it the uh, plugin for WordPress something. And I really don't know what to call it, and, and not for a bad reason. Um, this plugin, Showbiz Pro, literally does everything. Uh, it is a slider, it is a custom post displayer, it is a carousel, uh, it works with images, videos, posts, custom posts. It's just a really cool plugin, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about it, what it does, or what you can accomplish with it, where you can use it, the types of situations it works in, and also we're going to run through an example uh, using a, a live demo site. Uh, of how easy it is not only to install and configure but actually uh, put onto your websites. Now Orkspring is not an affiliate of Theme Punch. We do not derive any income uh, on the sale of this product through Theme Punch's website. Uh, however, if you use the link below, it is an affiliate link to the Envato Marketplace, which is Code Canyon, where you can buy premium plugins. We do a lot of business with that organization. Uh, and as we are a nonprofit, of course, it always helps to use our affiliate links to uh, help Workspring generate income for the nonprofit work that we do. So, uh, of course, you can go directly to Code Canyon and buy the plugin that way as well. But if you'd like to use the affiliate link below, we certainly appreciate it. So I'm at the Showbiz Pro plugin demo page, which you can find at the Theme Punch website. You'll see the link for the plugin pop up on the bottom of the screen here of this video, but uh, you'll see just how much this plugin can do. And I don't want to call this carousel, like I said before, although when you see it, you'll immediately think carousel, but they're calling it a responsive teaser displaying solution, which is just about as good as my title called the plugin something. But you'll get a sense uh, of everything that it can do. It has different skins, built-in uh, skins that you can use that work with a lot of uh, themes. They look great with several themes, at least the ones we've tested them with. But we'll show you here. For example, what this is doing is this is your, your standard slider. They call it the gray skin. It's on autoplay. So you'll see this uh, actually autoplay and scroll as it goes along. And this is actually pulling from a post type list, your standard post type list, and it's taking the featured image from that post along with an excerpt from that post and it boxes it in this little gray box and it scrolls through them. And of course, you can also scroll through them manually as well and it'll loop back around. Now you'll notice if you hover over, you'll see the different types that they are. For example, this is a link, so if we click on this, it brings us to the link for that particular post wherever you want that to go. We're not going to click on that here because it's just going to take us back to the same page. <clears throat> Similarly, this uh, can be set to show an image. So for example, if we wanted to zoom in on this image, rather than linking us to the post, it could just link us to the featured image for that. And then once we're in this light box, we can continue to shuffle through the images for these different posts. So we'll close out of that and go back to here. Uh, you'll see this one gives you a link and the image option, so you could link over to the post where it takes you. You could also click on the post title. It'll take you to the same spot. So that's just a pretty uh, basic, in terms of functionality, for uh, a standard carousel. Although you can see it's, it's pretty clean. Uh, you can obviously pause it where you are, go backwards, go forwards. Uh, and these can be moved. For example, you can take this and you could move it to the right side of the screen, the left side of the screen. You could put it over here on the side of your, uh, your carousel altogether. You could put right and left buttons all together. Um, you could change the way this looks, you could change the size of these images, you could change the amount of text that shows up, you could pull custom excerpts, you could even pull from the first uh, few words of your post. It's very versatile. Now, what you'll notice down here is a, another slider or carousel, although this looks a lot like their revolution slider uh, or slider revolution. Uh, there's no margins between these, just straight into the images. And when you hover over them, you'll see not only the title, which is linked to the post, and the featured image, but you'll also see the excerpt. 
you'll see the category and tag that it's in you'll see how many comments exist for this post and then you can of course link over to that post and this has some interesting functionality in that uh, you can scroll through it so it's got a little bit of a page scroll uh, and this one happens to be a drag you'll notice when I'm over this it shows the hand and you can scroll through these featured items so another very cool hover teaser box with what they call a modern skin now down below this is some really cool functionality and uh, this is, is something that very few other plugins are doing they have gone and integrated this plugin with WooCommerce. That means it can take products from your WooCommerce plugin and display them in if not only a featured way but its own carousel. And if anyone uh, is watching this and you use WooCommerce, you know that the WooCommerce sliders that they both integrate with the Woo themes and also some of the other slider featured product slider solutions Woo uses, they're weak. Um, they're they're decent, but they're a little bit weak. This plugin here, the Showbiz Pro, is one of the best, if not the best, premium product sliders that you will see. It just works fantastic. And you can set this to work with any of the skins that are involved within the Showbiz Pro plugin. And if you don't like one of the skins, you could custom skin it yourself with some CSS. It's very easy to change. And you'll notice this works in a lot of the same way. Now, one of the beauties of this plugin is they integrated it not only with the featured images of the product, the excerpt for the product, the title and link of the product, they also bring in the price of the product, the ability to immediately add it to the cart, and they've brought in the rating system. This is not a separate rating system. This is the rating and review system directly from WooCommerce. It's just an amazing uh, piece of functionality that very few other carousel plugins have. Uh, here's another example of just a standard carousel. This one will actually just continue looping through your posts. This one here is just different styles we're looking at now. This has the ability to drag and scroll, so we could scroll through it. We can also uh, drag through the slider. Um, this one has uh, some overlay text here that you'll see, and uh, it has the little button in the corner and you can click on that button and it will uh, scroll up and then show you a little bit of the post content. So a little bit different functionality here. Then there's a little bit more of a, a showcase style and this has some really great functionality. I'm going to scroll up just to get rid of that title for a second. You'll see what I mean. You have your, your standard functionality here and uh, this link functionality is turned off here so there's really no links. But what you do is you click on this little button here for the reveal and it reveals it almost in the full page and again this integrates with WooCommerce so it shows you the price, shows a special offer, gives you the introductory text and then passes you right off to the purchase now or add cart buttons. Just some really cool functionality. This works great with uh, stores. You have your pictures, content, HTML. It just works and it looks beautiful. They didn't stop with posts. Now, just a quick note before I jump into this video uh, preview here, but these not only work with WooCommerce, which is its own custom post, it works with any custom post, not just your regular post. If you have a staff list, it will work with your staff. If you are a movie website and you're showing reviews and you integrate your movie reviews with authors and directors and actors and things like that, it'll work with any custom post type, any custom category or tag inside those custom post types. It's so versatile. It also works with video. So for example here you've got YouTube, you've got Vimeo, and you have just a regular text reveal again inside with these. And uh, This is another one where it's just a page scroll but you can see all the different video examples and those will play right there. You also have the ability not only to let this display in your pages uh, or by using a short code either in your template or the code in your template. Uh, if you're familiar with Slider Revolution, you're familiar with how they add this uh, slider or carousel to your page. But you can also add this inside your post content. So uh, you can have a post that takes up half the page here with a, maybe a column short code and then you could use a short code to insert the Showbiz Pro uh, carousel slider thingy something, I'm not sure what to call it, here. And then going through they have some other skins, it's a little bit retro, you could see it's older style uh, where it has a little bit more with the read more buttons, things like that. They have a darker style 
This is for your darker websites. You can see here they have two, four, six, seven posts across. And then I'm going to show you a little bit. This is not, I don't do this as a sales video. I, I don't care if you do or don't buy this. I use this personally myself. I love it. I'm going to show you a few examples and how easy it is to use. But I just want to tell you a little bit about what you get with Theme Punch and with this plugin. Um, the code is very clean. So you're getting a scroll or a slider or a carousel, whatever you want to call it, that has not only scrolling functionality, but you can drag it. So this works amazingly well. Uh, if you're dragging uh, with your finger in um, in mobile usage, so it, it's a really great thing there as well. Um, you can do full width; it's completely responsive. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink the screen here just so you could see it, and you'll see that I have a few things up in the background. But as you shrink this, you'll see it collapse. Where we started off with six or seven, there's now only four. In the same way, some of these other ones up here, uh, we had two before, and now it's only scrolling one box in the actual post content. So uh, it's an amazingly responsive uh, carousel and slider. Uh, it uses Fancy Box, which is included to have your, your pop ups. Um, your hover over functions work really well. Um, carousel, it has both endpoint and continuous scroll, which works really well. Um, it's very lightweight jQuery and CSS. The code is very small uh, and it works well. You'll notice that it has retina ready icons. Uh, it fits in any website that you put in. I'm going to show you that in just a few minutes. This, again, it's not just a review of the plugin, it's also uh, going to show you a little tutorial of, of how we do it. And it's fully supported on mobile, so um, it works really well. Uh, you'll see down here the compatibility type. It works on all mobile devices. It works on the latest Firefox, all the WebKit browsers, obviously IE9 and IE10. And you'll see it falls back to uh, as far as IE7. So uh, it really works well. They also have a full-blown installation video which you can use. It shows you really uh, quickly how to build templates uh, with your slider. So, um, it's really a great product, and I, I, I do recommend it. I, again, I use it myself. I use it for my organization, and we're starting to put this into client sites as well. The first couple client sites we're, we're working on right now actually feature this in several really interesting ways with custom post types. So uh, that's pretty much the review. I'm going to show you for a moment, uh, jump into the tutorial section of this, uh, where we're going to do a basic install of 2012. Uh, it's a live demo. You can see it working, um, at least probably for the next couple of weeks you could see it working live uh, just to show you what I'm working on and then uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up so stick with us for a few more minutes okay so here I am in a, a demo site this is just a simple installation and we are running a child theme of 2012 uh, very simple customizations which I'm going to explain quickly I'm not going to show you how to do them but I'll explain to you what we did so we have just a standard live installation of WordPress running, the, the latest version of WordPress, I believe it's 3.51, and we are running a child theme off of the 2012. So we don't have any real specific uh, style customizations just yet, but we have done a few things. So I'm going to hop into the dashboard to show you what we've done. Uh, we've obviously added the Showbiz plugin. You could do that by um, using FTP program or installing it normally through the WordPress plugin installation area. Um, we have added WooCommerce, just the standard uh, WooCommerce, the free WooCommerce plugin. And then we've also created a custom post type for a movie. So we're going to show you the Showbiz Pro slider with posts, your standard posts. We're going to show it to you with a custom post type, which we've added, and we're going to show you with some WooCommerce information. Now, we've installed several areas of sample data, and all of these sample data are sample data that you can get yourself for free to kind of mirror what we've done. So uh, if we click here in the posts area, you'll see that we've added the theme unit test data directly from the WordPress codex. This is uh, actual uh, sample data that WordPress gives you. We've also added um, WooCommerce dummy data. This is uh, information and products that come directly from the WooCommerce plugin. It's included with the plugin itself. And uh, if you need to find out how to do that, you could look at the WooDocs, but it's just uh, located right inside the plugin itself. 
to actually import it, you need to use the WordPress importer. But so we have posts, movies, and products. We have a whole bunch of samples that we can draw from. You'll see here we added a few movies, a couple of recent movies. Uh, along with the genres for those movies as a custom taxonomy. So that was included as a custom post type, which we put into a post type file, which was then included in the functions file for our child theme. So now over to Showbiz. Now that all the housekeeping is done, you'll notice we have no sliders here. So we are going to create a new slider. And um, basically, actually, you know, before we create the new slider, we're going to take a look at some of the in plugin templates that they show you. For example, click down here under item templates, and you'll see all the different skins that come along with this template, and they're listed here. And you could go in and actually edit the HTML of the templates to show in different ways, have different classes. If you want to, say, mark this up for a client and use very specific classes, you can do that. Uh, I don't recommend doing that, but if you wanted to, you could. Uh, and as you edit some of these HTMLs, you'll see here it gives you different post options. So you can actually pull down different things with the post. So for example, if you wanted to, uh, instead of getting rid of the, you want to use a featured image instead of the showbiz image, you can put that directly in there as well. If you wanted to swap out categories for tags, or if you want to swap out full content for excerpt content, you could do that using these tags very easily. Uh, you can also edit the CSS for the skin, and this is uh, skin-centric CSS, and uh, you could do that right there. You could also rename these different title, uh, these different skins, and duplicate them, create new ones. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is just preview them. So, regardless of what kind of demo content you have, uh, just doing a quick preview is going to show you what that particular skin looks like and how it interacts. So you can look at these things, even if you don't have any content on your site, if you're just trying to figure out what it's going to look like by using it, you can just click on the preview button and it's going to show you exactly what that looks like. So uh, these are the different previews that we have here. You can do the same thing with the navigation templates, which are similar to the skins. And you can click preview here and it'll show you uh, the different types of navigation that you have, the light navigation, the dark navigation, uh, this is called retro light, so uh, you have different abilities there to look at these things. So that gives you an idea of what you're working with. Now, to create the actual slider, you'll go to the sliders area, and you'll see there's different ways to include these within the code, and we'll get back into that in just a moment. We're going to create a new slider. I'm going to call this, let's, we're planning to put this one uh, inside of a, a a home page. So <clears throat> let's call this one the home slider. And that's just the name for us. And then this is the name that gets used within the actual short code. As you can see, as we type, it's actually building out the short code. So we're going to call it home slider. I like to keep these all one word without having to use uh, dashes or uh, hyphens or anything like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we have the ability to choose the source type for this slider. We can use posts, and, and it'll give us a uh, option of different post types here. You can see all the different post types. There's posts, and it shows us the categories. We can even pick from pages. These are the different WooCommerce products, along with tags and product categories. These are variations of products. These are orders. These are coupons, which we'll use as custom post types, which is why they show up here. <clears throat> and then we'll choose, for example, our movie. So we have a couple different genres. <clears throat> We're going to highlight all three of those genres to make sure that we show all the genres in our slider. We have the option to sort posts by a certain sorting method. We're just going to choose by the post ID, which goes in the order that they're created. We'll leave the sort direction descending, maximum post per slider. We'll leave these set uh, as general. It's not going to matter because uh, we only have four of them. So now we look down here, and it gives us a choice of limiting the excerpt to a certain number of words. So uh, the way this is going to work is if you have a custom excerpt, on your post, it's going to use the custom excerpt. If you don't have a custom excerpt, it's going to pull this number of words as the excerpt from the post. So we'll leave this as 55. That's the standard excerpt length. 
And then we're going to use just the gray skin. This is the standard template. You can see here we have the ability to use other ones. We'll choose gray. Now you have a choice up here in your scroll settings. We're going to choose drag and scroll. Basically, this gives us the ability to uh, drag it with our mouse or to let it scroll. We have an option here, and this, as is most of the options, if you just hover your mouse over the option itself, it'll give you a little status window, a little tooltip information box. So, for example, you can click here, Auto Close Opened Details. And you just read this quick tooltip. If this is set to On, then click in a Reveal Opener button will close first all other open details with the same teaser and open the clicked one. Va default value is set to off. So for example, if you have, uh, as you're clicking on some of these, you have the ability to click and open information about the thing that's in the slider. And by clicking, uh, you can auto open or auto close details by clicking, and that gives you the ability to do that. Um, you have here rewinding from end, and this tells you whether it rewinds to the first or last position when you reach the end of the slide. Um, this is almost like determining whether it's going to be um, an auto rewind or it just keeps clicking through. So we'll keep that off for now. Autoplay is whether this is going to automatically start scrolling if you have the scroll feature enabled. So we will turn that on auto. This is your delay and your speed. We'll leave that general settings. Navigation. So uh, what type of navigation? The navigation is the arrows that uh, let you go left or right or pause. So we're going to leave this under navigation template. Now if you had custom buttons, uh, you could click on custom button <clears throat> and create an ID for your custom buttons. That way you can style them using background images and custom CSS. So uh, that's a way you can use your own custom UI. But we're going to click from a navigation template. We're going to click gray navigation to match the gray template that we're using. And again, you'll have a chance to edit that here if you want. You get a chance here to click the number of visible items. And this is uh, how you can um, change the responsivity of your slider. Now, we're using 2012, which um, will change. It's, it's sort of an adaptive um, theme in that when we, when we change the size of the browser, it will change with us. So we can set the number of visible items on a screen that is uh, 980 pixels or greater as 4. And as we start to uh, go down smaller, uh, we could change the number of visible items on the screen. Uh, so that will try to keep the same size of the box itself, but just lower the number of boxes on the page. Uh, we could keep this more of them visible, and it'll shrink the, num the size of them. But we'll leave this as is for now. We could set a maximum height for the media. For example, uh, if you don't want these images to go over a certain height, or if you're not sure how they're going to be cropped or, or the uh, ratio that's going to be used, uh, the aspect ratio, you can actually set that here to a specific value. You could also add offsets. Uh, to the height and if you scroll over this this is something that's it's not a standard setting so you might not know what that is but you can increase or decrease the height of the container and this is basically the padding uh, that you would use on the entry and this could affect things when you start to use shadows or borders uh, with your your uh, slider uh, the positioning is where you're going to position the slider on the page so for example we'll choose center and we basically what that's going to do is uh, that's going to put a margin of zero pixels on the top and bottom and auto on the left and right, which is going to center the scrolling carousel slider on your page. You can also set a margin. And if you want, you want to make sure that uh, there are no other floated items on top of it. You can clear both in the div, which will make sure that content is pushed uh, either above or below. And then there's information here about jQuery no conflict mode. Uh, we're not going to need to run that here because I know there uh, isn't anything else that will conflict with it. But if you're not sure you have a lot of plugins installed or if you're not sure if uh, there are other things calling jQuery, you can set this to on. 
So uh, we're set with that. We will click Create Slider. We've done all our settings, and you'll see a slider is created. It's the name of it there, and if we want to put the short code somewhere in content, this is the short code that we could use. Now we want to actually uh, edit the slides that are going to be contained within it. Now, when we click on Edit Slides, what you'll notice is it automatically pulls the posts that we selected for it to pull. We told it to pull all of the movies. So you'll see here the image it's going to use for the slide, the name of it. And if you want to, you can click Edit Post and actually it will take you to the post directly. So you'll see this is Fast and Furious Part 6. Here's the text. We don't have a custom excerpt. There's the featured image and the genres that we've selected. So we'll go back to the slider itself. And you can also, from here, add new posts, or you can go to the slider settings. And this takes us back to the original slider settings, where you can see we've chosen movie, and we've chosen all of the post categories. Now, for example, if we decided only to choose comedy items, and let's click Update that slider, and then if we edit the slides, you'll notice it's only showing the ones from the comedy settings. We're going to go back and edit the slider settings again, and we're going to make sure that we choose all of the genres. Update the slider. If we choose Edit Slides, <clears throat> we'll see there the four are back. Let's go back to the slider settings, and we have an opportunity to preview the slider, which we can do right here, and it's going to show us exactly what that looks like. So you can see there's really no forward or backward because we've told it to use four, and we actually have four posts. So just to give a sense of uh, the ability for this thing to change, we're going to go over here into our visible items, and we're going to say two. That way we'll have a little bit of scrolling. We'll update the slider. We'll preview the slider again. It's going to show us two slides. We have the featured image, the title, the excerpt, it's pulling the first 55, and then we can scroll. And it's going to scroll in those, as you can see here. We'll come down this page a little bit, make it easier to see. And you'll notice when we get to the end, it doesn't reset. Same thing here, we get to the beginning, it doesn't reset. So we'll close this, and if you want to change the way that works, that's in the scroll settings. Rewind from end, we'll click on, and we'll update the slider, and we'll do a quick preview. So from here, we could go through, close this out, and that's what we're left with. So now back to the slider, we'll close it. Now, there's a couple ways to add this slider. Now, obviously, this has to be added to the theme somehow. So the first way to do it is to actually, if you're going to be putting this, say, in a home page uh, with a basic theme, you could use uh, inside the theme itself. For example, you would use the PHP code just like this. Put Showbiz Home Slider. If you wanted to show this only on the home page, you can use this, and I'll show you how to add this in the code. You could also use on certain pages by using commas with the page IDs. You can use this in the widgets panel because they have widgets, and you could also insert it using the short code for the post slider. So for example, if you're working with a theme that actually uses a page for the home page, like many of the Woo themes do, you don't even need to put this into your theme template using code. You just copy this short code and you put it in the business template or the magazine template or the home page template, whatever you're using to display your home page. So for example, uh, if you were using a custom home page, let's just take this home slider. We're going to go quickly into the settings general settings under reading and if for example we were using a static front page called the post page is the front page you'll see we could then go to pages and we would find the front page 
and we would edit that and you'll see here's some content we're gonna stick this right in the middle of the content we're just gonna add that short code right there and update it now here's what the front page looked like before we refresh here's our home site here's the title and this is the front page this is a static page to test the themes handling of the front page template we'll click refresh and you'll notice it automatically determines the width of our content column and it pops in our slider in between the content there along with the images the titles and the excerpts you'll notice we have the hand which we can then scroll our slider and we have options to look at the featured images or we can click on the link to take us directly to that post hangover part three if we come back we can also click on the title itself which will take us directly to that post as well so you have a couple great options here and this looks really cool now I'm going to head back into the slider creation we're going to create a new slider and this is one that we're going to use um, in the template itself so click on create new slider and we're just going to call this one template slider again it gives us the short code we're going to pick specific posts oops sorry we're going to click posts we're going to use movie again and we're going to click our items we're going to leave these standard we're going to select a different skin we're going to select the showcase skin we're going to do this as a carousel and you'll see some of these options are now grayed out in particular the uh, rewind from end is grayed out because the carousel just continues scrolling that's the idea of the carousel we're going to leave the navigation the same we're going to leave the visible items going to show us let's just set this to three so at least we get some scrolling items there let's set the max media height let's set this to say 250 pixels high and we want to make sure that it gets smaller as we go along we're not going to have any offsets any specific positioning and we're going to create this slider now before we get into any uh, customization of our template we're going to turn a few things off in the general settings so we're going to go to general settings in WordPress we will then go to reading we don't want to use a static front page we want to use the normal um, uh, the normal way that uh, WordPress works with the front page so we'll click latest posts we'll click safe changes now if we come to the front page of our site again and we refresh we'll see we have here just your standard posts and that's how it looks so now we're going to uh, go to our editor and I use Coda which you'll see here uh, and I have a few files up from my uh, child theme file which you can see here is called OrgSpring so I'm gonna look at my themes menu uh, my themes folder I have a couple different themes here uh, but mainly you'll see uh, 2012 here so we're gonna copy a file uh, it's gonna default to the index.php so we're gonna open that and we're just going to copy this entire file we're going to go into our child theme file. We're going to create a new file called index.php, and this will serve as our new template file. So this is our new uh, index.php, which is going to control the way our site looks. So to show you that this uh, works exactly the way we want it to, for example, we're going to scroll down to the end of the file here, the end of the index.php file. You'll see where it's calling for the sidebar. We're just going to delete that code just to show you that uh, this is now taking precedence over the 2012 as a child theme. We're going to save that. We're going to go back to our site. You can see the sidebar here. We're going to refresh. 
and the sidebar is gone. So we are in fact working with a file that is working perfectly with this child theme. We will put that sidebar back in. Now, here is our index.php file for the child theme. We're going to go back to the showbiz plugin settings for this plugin and you'll see here where it says inside the theme HTML do this so we will click on this we will copy this now it's telling us to use alias we're gonna be using the word template slider so we're gonna go back to our code and where we want this to show up so you can see here is the little HTML structure of our template and here's where the loop starts so here's where our posts are going to start if we wanted this to show up before the posts will come up above that and we will paste our content in there we'll change alias to template slider and we'll save our index.php now we'll return to the site you'll see here that we've put the slider back and then we put the um, carousel here so when we refresh the screen we'll see that and you'll notice right here the sidebar is back and our carousel shows up above the post area just where we put it in the theme it's auto scrolling we also have the ability to continue running through just like a normal carousel would and we chose the one where if we click this it brings down the uh, WooCommerce type thing these are not WooCommerce posts so obviously we wouldn't <laughs> use this type of uh, slider for something that was non WooCommerce related now if we wanted to very easily for example if we wanted to swap up these movie images with actual products we can come back here and change the post type it uses for example we'll click on product and let's decide to show only appliances we'll update that slider if you wanted to take a look at that you could actually click look at slides and it'll show you these slides how many of them are there and then we'll just go back to the page and refresh it and you'll notice the post types have changed now we could click on the title and it'll take us to the link that's included with that as you could see that was a, a custom link or you could click this button here to show you the actual drop down offer same thing on this one and that's how that works so you can see just by using a pretty simple short code we can add it to a post or a page or by adding just a few lines of code directly into our template we can add it that way if we wanted to style this further we have a couple choices we can either style it using custom CSS or we could style it using uh, the styles they include in the slider settings for example we might want to change this instead of a showcase skin we might want to change this to a WooCommerce skin hit update slider we'll go back to the page refresh refresh the slider and you'll see here it's using a gray border it has again the link the custom link that's included with the page that links off to this particular product it has the excerpt it has the rating it lists the categories that this is listed in on our site it has the price and then the ability to add that directly to the cart which we can then view and it takes you right there so there's a lot of things you can do with this slider uh, just a lot of really cool features uh, that you can use this either as a carousel in this case you'll see it just keeps looping through the products 
Now we've shown you the custom post types. We're going to go back and we're going to do a slider uh, with our regular post types. And we're going to do it inside of uh, an actual post inside of a content column. So you can see how that looks as well. So, uh, or in this case, we'll, we'll put it inside a page. So uh, we'll go into our pages area and we're just going to create a new page. We'll call this one uh, slider content page. And we will just set up here I'll add some text and then we'll publish this page and we'll leave it there for now. We'll go back to our slider settings. We're going to create a new slider and we're going to call this one the post page slider post page slider. We can copy this short code now if we want. Uh, we have posts and we have all the different type of categories we have. So we're going to click all of them. We'll set by post ID. We'll sort them by that. We can leave that there. Let's just say we're going to do 10 posts. In this case, we will show the caption skin. We'll turn this into a carousel. We'll leave the speed and the delay the same. We will do, in this case, retro dark navigation. Put the navigation button below it. We'll make sure that uh, for 980 and greater, we'll show six images. The max media height we will clip the max height to only 250 pixels wide in every scenario. We're going to leave the offsets. We're going to leave a centered position. And in this case, we'll turn jQuery on, although it won't matter here. We'll click Create Slider. Now, again, we can copy that shortcode. We'll go back to our page. And we'll put this short code between the two pieces of text. We'll make sure that we're working with a full width page. And when the page loads, you'll see we have here our featured slider with our carousel. And if we hover over it, you'll be able to see the little plus and minus buttons. Clicking the plus raises up the header title and it gives you the excerpt. In this case, this particular skin pulls the excerpt. And for these posts, we have neither text nor excerpt. So it's giving us a little message to add some text. You'll see as we go through these, different options. And if we click on it, it takes us to the link for that particular post. And we can scroll through here. So now we're going to make one more final slider. We're going to show you some of the functionality with the video options. So we will go back to our slider list. And we're going to create one more new slider. And we'll call this one the movie slider. Try to get the spelling right there. Uh, we will leave it with posts. We'll page down to our movies again. Highlight all the categories. And down here in the skins, we have a couple different options. They give you the option to do video, Vimeo skin out of the box or YouTube skin. And uh, for just a moment, what we'll do is we'll come here and change some settings. Again, we'll make this one also a carousel. And we will leave our navigation the same. We'll leave the page numbers the same. We are going to set a maximum height uh, so it doesn't go with the full height of the featured image that we put along or the video that we put along. So we're going to make a max height of 400 pixels on the regular screen and the 
uh, tablets and then we'll make a max height of 250 for the mobile and smaller devices under 768 pixels wide. We'll leave the position and the troubleshooting alone. We'll put jQuery conflict mode on and we will hit create slider. Now I'm just going to go right back into uh, show the edit slides. So these are the slides uh, that will be in the slider. Again, it's our four movie posts. And then I'm going to go back to the slider settings just to show you one thing real quick. So we're using the YouTube skin, which if we want to edit that, we can edit that right here. <coughs> and let's look at the HTML for the YouTube skin and we'll see what's going on here just very quickly. If we take a look through this, you'll see they're using some special classes for this. You'll see the slider uses the image, which is the featured image for the page. And then you'll see that it uses uh, the link, the title, and then it's calling a, a YouTube ID, uh, which it runs into the markup. Uh, it actually runs a, an iframe version of the, the YouTube video using this YouTube ID, which is a custom field. So we'll show you where that is. If we look at the slider itself, we go to edit slides, which takes us to the actual slides. For example, if we edit this post, you'll notice inside the post when we set up a movie slider and we tell it that we want it to use this, in the bottom of the post editing screen you will see showbiz options. And you can change the showbiz options for this particular post or you can choose to use the global. So here we're inside the Fast and Furious Part 6 movie. Here's the featured image. We have some text here. You'll notice we're not using a custom excerpt, but if we wanted to, it would pull from that instead. So for example, if we just take the last line of this and put that in the custom excerpt, we have an item template, so we can reset the template here, although we'll just click not selected, use global. We can continue to limit the excerpt word. So for example, if we didn't want to use the global, which is 55 words, we could limit that here to only 10. And then we have YouTube ID. So this is just the last uh, numbers and letters of the ID. It's after the V equals question mark equals uh, type of thing in your YouTube video. So you take that from your YouTube page and you pop that right there. Now if you were using the WooCommerce and you had a special price you could put that here and if you want to set a special color for this slide you could put that there as well and if this were not a YouTube video uh, or if it were a Vimeo video instead you would put that ID here but so we put the ID right there and that controls when it's being used as a video slide now if you're using a slider a showbiz slider that's not a video slider this won't make any difference whether it's there or not but if you do decide to use it as a video slider that YouTube video um, ID will come in handy. So we're going to go back to the slide settings. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, we're going to go back to um, the actual front page of the slider uh, plugin and we're going to copy this showbiz movie slider and we're going to go back to our page And we're going to remove, this is the slider content page. We're going to remove that old one we had in there. And we're just going to put this in here. You could use this in any page. Or again, you could use this in the templates if you prefer. And we'll click Update. Oop. It needs me to log in again. So I will just go back to Pages. We're just going to add a new page here. I'm going to make this a full width page and then we'll view it. So you'll see here I put a 400 pixel height on this. So now they're all even at 400 pixels. We have our standard navigation up top and it's a carousel so it will just keep moving. And this is the YouTube 
example. So you'll notice if I hover over these, I'm given the option to play the video. So we'll click play here under Fast and Furious, and you'll see the video loads directly here. I'm just going to hit, uh, turn the volume down on this so you don't hear it, but we'll let the video play. Now one thing that you'll notice, we set the container height to a maximum of 400 pixels, but because of the width that's being used, and most of the movies you'll probably use will be uh, this aspect ratio. Um, so here we're, we're using a trailer that's widescreen, and it's wider, of course, than it is tall. So you'll see this really big container of height with uh, only a small uh, video here. So when you are using video, you want to be careful that the max height that you use uh, is equivalent to the ratio that you're using or the aspect ratio that you're using for the movie. So in this example, uh, if we took a look at this, this is probably somewhere along 250 pixels uh, tall, maybe even a little bit smaller. So uh, to make this look a little bit better, we might want to change the height of this. So for example, we'll come back to the slider settings and we'll change the slider settings for the movie slider. We're going to look at our numbers again. So you'll see here we're using for anything larger than 980, we're using a 400 pixel max height. Same thing for 768 and above. Uh, and then we go down a little smaller. So um, we'll actually leave that height. But what we're going to do is change the visible items so we get um, a slightly wider. So rather than using four, we'll just do two across the page for the large pages and we'll save that, update the slider, and then we'll come back to the page and we will refresh it. So now we have a much wider, because we're only using two on each screen, we have a wider display, and we get a little bit more from the movie here. A little bit wider, a little bit taller. Now you'll still see that we have, we're being constrained uh, on the height. So you may want to play with it a little bit uh, to change your height. Uh, and also change your aspect ratio depending on how you want that movie to play in the box. So uh, we've gone through the posts, we've gone through the custom posts, we've gone through the video, uh, and we've gone through a little bit of looking at the templates and, and even editing. So you could see that the Showbiz Pro plugin has a lot of functionality, just very, very cool, very useful, um, and, and, and you can use it on uh, a lot of different themes. Uh, it works very well with with a lot of different things so uh, have fun try it out pop it into your themes and uh, if you have any comments or questions leave a note here uh, or go to the theme punch website and I'm, I'm sure they'll be happy to uh, take a look at it for you as well so uh, this is Craig from Orgspring thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you again soon